Hello and welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to apply Plot P6 in the items for Banner Lord. So first, you need this mesh, which is taken from T Pack Tool. If you haven't watched my previous video about workflow, I recommend watching it first. So now I'm gonna add a plane. I mean, I'm gonna create a cape. So I need to add a plane, just a simple mesh, just to show you how plot P6 is applied. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna create a very low poly cape. Since this is a very simple mesh, you don't need or the plot P6 can be applied directly in here let's say this is a cape now i'm gonna rig it fast this is shown in the workflow i made before so i'm not gonna explain everything You can see here that the tie barely even affects it, but it doesn't matter since this is a cloth P6 and it is not dependent on the rigging or any bones it needs, but you still need rigging so that this will follow the character. Now for the material. Let's just add a random material here and assign assign this mesh. Now you have a material but this doesn't have any base color and that doesn't matter. Let's just go to shading. This is in a material preview. So in case you are in a solid preview, let's I'm just gonna show you. Let's just add a input vertex. Uh, it's right vertex color. Sometimes if your mesh has a base color, you will see something connected here. You just have to disconnect it and connect this instead. Alpha to the base color. And go here. I mean, in vertex paint, you can see that you have a brush. But when I paint this, it doesn't do anything because we are in a solid view. We need to be in a material view. You can see that this is white. Erase alpha means this will make the part of the item rigid or it is not affected by plot p6 while the add alpha means it will be affected in it will be affected by plot p6 and this means this is white black is the I am adding alpha. I should be erasing alpha. So you can see here that this is becoming black. This means this armor or this tape won't be affected by a cloth P6. But I only need this part as an anchor. Means this will be the part that will not be affected by a cloth P6. So we can go to edit mode select this face go back to vertex paint and just filter it paint mask and you can only paint to those to the part that is selected in case you have a high poly uh, equipment oh this is a weight paint if you have a high poly mesh this is useful since it will not paint the part 
you don't want to be painted. So let's just add the alpha again. And let's remove this. You can see that this is still black even though I painted it before. So that's pretty much everything. Let's go back to modeling and since this is not yet parent to the bone, I forgot about it. I just named this sample cake. It should be parent to the human skeleton. I'm gonna press Ctrl P and automatic weights and I'm gonna apply the transfer weight again. Because automatic weights will change the rigging. Now that I have applied it, I'm just gonna export this. Don't forget to add not used. Not used. Also name the sub skeleton. Select what you want to export. And export is a FBX only the selected object so that it won't export other unnecessary things. This is important, you should always disable it if your equipment is rigged. And let's just name this the same way I named this. Oops. I'm gonna name the sample gate and export it now in the banner lord let's just this is the only mod that is enabled so let's just use this sample cape import now this doesn't have any material but it doesn't matter i'm just gonna apply anything anything just try the Jingasa. You can see that this is one sided because this is only one sided. A simple mesh, but let's just proceed to it and go to plot editor. As you observe, some cape, for example, the poldron cape A. You can see here that it has a simulation mesh and a preview body of cape body. This is a collision body actually. And you cannot make something like this I think. Or maybe I just don't know. So we won't be using a simulation mesh since our mesh is already a simple mesh. This simulation mesh, let me just show you. Is a simple mesh. You can see that this is one sided too. That will be applied to a more complex mesh like this. Or let's just use the sturgeon lamellar base. This one, you can see here that, let me just remove this leg. So you can see here that this is some complex mesh. There's a belt, there's, there's this everything. It's more complex in the fortified version. Just gonna remove this again. Because it has a two layer, so you need some helper, which is this simulation mesh. I think you you may have gotten the point already. So let's proceed with the sample. So let's proceed with the sample cape, and I'm not gonna use any simulation mesh. 
I'm just gonna use the hip body as a uh, collision and don't forget to apply the cloth now you can see that our cloth is being swept by the wind but this part is not this is the anchor and this is a very simple mesh you can you can see here it is just a single face another one here so it's just two face here you can see that the effect is like it's it's a you hold it it's a plank being being swept so let's see it in game save the mesh in case sometimes you cannot see this being swept by wind you can just reset the mesh and you can see that it will move let me just show you again in the sturgeon lamellar 45 or just heavy you can see here that this is barely moving but it's moving when you reset the mesh you know that the cloth p6 is applied now this is our horrible mesh doesn't even regripe but you can see the cloth or the mesh is being affected by the wind this is a very very simple mesh that is why this is causing such problem for example this single face here cannot bend so so it will just pass through the collision. I hope you learned something from this and I'm just gonna show a sample plot P6 in the ending of the video. Please subscribe and once I have squeezed all the knowledge I can take from this modding tool, I'm just gonna create a gameplay using my mods so take care it is um, very <laughs> it's passing through so this will happen only if the plot p6 or the plot helper is too small for the legs I am using the legs little smaller but it still managed to pass through the collision the collision so just experiment with it 